Hey there, welcome back. I have a Abercrombie and Fitch clothing haul for the spring to do. Yeah, I don't really have anywhere to wear these two, but with that being said, I have not felt like myself in a long time with my style. I don't know how to explain it. I think I've tried explaining it before to where I just don't feel like Britney in anything I wear anymore. Like there are some things, like some pieces, I'm like, this is me, I love this, I feel really good in this, but most of my clothing, I just don't get that feeling. If anything, I have a feeling of like, I look like I'm trying to be someone that I'm not, and I don't feel like pretty, and I don't feel comfortable. So my goal has been to just pick up things that like really make me smile and I enjoy them and that means I will right now just online shopping and then returning stuff that I don't want. So the thing with just being like, eh, it's okay and then being lazy not wanting to return it. So that's not happening anymore. Um, the first thing is this very, very, very soft basic long sleeve ribbed shirt. It's a loose fit. Um, I got it in a size medium. I almost always get size mediums so that'll be a trend as well. Um, and this was, I think, like $14. I've already worn it once. Don't, don't blame. Normally, like, I'll save hauls, like, everything will be new. But no, I could not not wear this. So I highly recommend this shirt. It's so soft and it's, like, stretchy and just comfy. It just has a very comfy feel. And then, um, I guess I'll do what I'm wearing now. I have a bodysuit. It's just a plain black bodysuit. It has a very uh, thin detailed strap. Don't mind my, I don't know why, well, I do know why. I used a different soap and my body has just been broken out. So I can't help that. Um, it's very, very comfy. This is a medium. I kind of wish I would have gotten a small just because it's a little big up top and it's not adjustable, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with it. I just, I really like how comfortable and soft it is. And it is, um, a thong in the back so if you wear jeans you're not gonna have like a harsh underwear line which drives me crazy so I'm happy with thong and it's a button snap so you don't have to wear it snapped you can unsnap and just wear it like a tank obviously tucked in um, and then also the belt I'm wearing it's super super adorable it's not the best quality I want to say it was only $14 also um, I got it in an extra small small which they had extra small, small and then medium large. I'm really happy I went this size because um, it fits fine. It's, I mean, I still have a lot of, if I want to gain weight, I can with it. Um, and then the shorts I'm wearing, oh, I love these shorts. They are so comfortable. They're so high-waisted. They are um, not booty-licious. Like, they don't show my butt, which is nice. Um, they're actually, like, almost a perfect length. Maybe I would want my hair longer, but I really enjoy them. And then just like this outfit in general, I just really enjoy. So that's why I'm wearing it now. Um, let's just keep going with the bodysuit. So next one is a brown nude, well, it's not my color, but it's like a nude colored bodysuit, also a thong. This one has like a mesh, which is not stretchy like by any means. So I'm a little confused why they did it like that. Again, it's a button closure. Um, I got a medium. I'm sort of disappointed that I didn't get a small just because it is kind of extra big in the top area, but I will say the mediums fit well like on here and I feel like if I would have gotten a small, obviously like, the mesh is like, a little bit stretchy, but it, I feel like it would have been uncomfortable like digging in. I don't know why they use this material, but I really like this bodysuit and I think it's really pretty. I like how the back has more of a um, razor back cut, which is just on me more flattering. I feel like I have decently like broad shoulders to where if I don't have a razor back, I, I don't know, I just feel really wide. Um, the next bodysuit is the same one, just in blue. This is from two different orders, by the way. Like I got one order, I'm like, I love this. And then I bought this blue one. Um, and I got it in a medium again. I was just afraid of the bottom being too small. Um, so yes, yeah, I did get a medium. Um, I think I got these for $20, maybe a little bit less. Highly, highly recommend them, especially this blue one. I just love this color. This is so pretty. 
And then I got a bralette. I'm not going to put this one on for you. You guys know. It kind of reminds me of the Free People bralette. It's not padded. I wish it were here. Um, but it's just a nude color. And I felt like this would be really good underneath all of my bodysuits that I just bought. And because even if it peeks out, like it's cute little lace on it. So very thrilled. I think this was like $11. And then I got, technically I got this as a two piece. It had a bottom with it, which was a maxi skirt. But I got a medium and it was just like, it was supposed to be um, banded and stretchy, but it was too big. So it just like had this weird gaping. I should have gotten a small and I didn't. Um, I should have got a small on the top too, just because it is one of those really stretched tops. And because I don't, I'm not like well endowed up top, um, having a medium, it's, it doesn't like, it's not tight on, it is and it isn't. I can't explain it. I feel like if I had a small, I wouldn't want to wear a bra with it. I probably still want to wear a bra with this, but still. Um, I kept the top though because I thought it was really cute with the shorts I'm wearing. Um, so I wanted to keep this and not, I didn't repurchase the skirt, I just sent it back. So really like this, highly recommend. I would say go down a size if you're like in between. So I feel like I'm in between a small and a medium. Oh, this jacket, I went back and forth so much on like, one, just putting it in my car and two, keeping it because it is expensive, but it's so, so cute. I can't even begin to explain like I just want to wear this all the time it's not um it's a moto style jacket but it's not like a faux leather or anything it's a I don't know it's cloth material <laughs> real good Brittany and I want to say so it's originally a hundred dollars but I think it was sixty dollars on sale which is way more expensive than I ever end up spending on anything so I splurged on that. These jeans, oh, they're so weird, but in like the coolest way possible. They have like a V button down and it's, I don't know, I don't know I can explain it. As you know how bathing suits now are like going up um, on your hips and they're like V cut, like that's what these jeans are. They're, they're just really flattering. These are in a size four. I think I got them for like 40 bucks. They're, um, a stretch blend so oh, there's a little puppy <laughs> I love him so much there's a girl that lives above me that has a huge great Dane and she just got a puppy and he's this like exact same color of the great Dane I think they're both great Danes but like it's just like a mini me it's so cute um, anyways this is a little bit on the smaller size I would say like if you're in between sizes maybe go up and um just because like the waist isn't like super stretchy but now, maybe just get your normal. I'm normally like a four in Abercrombie and I would still want the four. Um, they're so, 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 so soft though. They don't feel like a normal jean material. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I used to be like that weird kid that hated the feeling of jeans. Like hated the fact where I didn't wear jeans until my sophomore year of high school. Um, maybe freshman year, but regardless, it was that long just because they made me cringe. Like there are fabrics that just make my skin crawl. I hate them. I even like thinking about some of them now. It's just bedding. Oh, bedding's another story. Like I, I can't with some of that. But anyways, um, I'm very particular with how my jeans feel and I like the feeling of those. It, they're just very soft to the touch. This is by far, I think, my favorite out of the entire haul. And I think this color is sold out, so I apologize. But I want to say there are other colors. Um, I love this. You guys watch The Bachelor because this reminds me of Victoria. Um, the brunette Victoria of, like, what she would wear. It's very Reformation-like. So, so adorable. I want to say it was, like, 29 ish dollars. It has a V in the back. I got a medium and I will say like this is on the verge of being tight. They run small so size up. I would probably keep my medium but um, no way would I ever want a small in this so I love this though. This is <laughs> just wait it's cute. And then lastly from Abercrombie is a two-piece I just whacked myself in that a two-piece set um I don't know I just have been wanting again like they have a very reformation style I think that's where I'm leaning towards when I say like my style's changing but I don't want to pay for reformation so like thank you Abercrombie for being similar to them this is a pair of wide leg pants I didn't think I would like these I was like well, I'll just return them like I wanted to try them because I I don't buy like wide leg stuff um, and these are a size small and short because they have short, regular, and tall in a lot of their stuff, which I appreciate, especially on maxi dresses. 
but this is ultra high rise and it's just like a linen-y like cotton blend and it's like in the shorts area it's double lined and then at the nope it's double lined all the way actually um that's great i'm wearing a blue um underwear <laughs> right now so you might see it through it but if you wear nude like there's no way you would ever know that this was like with lighter materials that always scares me this is great I just don't know how I'll perform with blue. Anyways, um, and they're kind of like thicker feeling. They're very nice quality. And then I got the top part. I kind of wish I had a small on this. This is a medium and it's a little bit big. Um, it does have like a band in the back. So I think it's supposed to be a little more fitted than what it is on me. Um, I think altogether these two were 50 together. So I want to say this was more like 20 and this was like 30. Um, so adorable and then like I know I said that was the last thing but I really wanted to throw in a non-Abercrombie piece because I've been so obsessed with them and I just got them yesterday and I haven't been able to wear them so one second it's the Steve Madden travel sandal I have seen this all over um some of the Instagram bloggers that I follow and I had a coupon and I finally bought them and they've been back ordered I think they're on regular now um these are so the cutest sandals ever and they are surprisingly so comfortable like extremely comfortable there's so much ankle support because it does wrap around once and I don't have like tiny ankles like I've always had thicker ankles and these fit perfectly because so I was a little worried about that because they are um adjustable so you guys you need to look them up on Poshmark look them up on Dillard's stevemadden.com just find a deal and buy these because you will not regret them they are so adorable okay well that's my haul i hope you guys enjoyed that um i wanted to put a little more like normalcy in it i know you're probably getting a ton of stuff from like the news and you're not in that little mode of like normalcy and just like a routine so i hope that you guys don't mind that i'm doing something that's very casual to what my channel is. I know for me, like, I like watching the videos on YouTube that aren't COVID related, so I hope that you can appreciate other people doing this type of stuff still. Um, and other than that, I think I'm going to head out because I have to do a few things for my seniors, and then I will see you guys. What's my next video? Oh, <laughs> a workout video. Well, not a workout, but like a a Walmart workout apparel video. So I'll see you super soon. Love you. Bye.